Yo, so it's the final day of the transfer window. The January transfer window is nearly shut and we haven't signed nobody. Now, the last video I gave you a whole heap of names. So far, none of them have come through. Now, there's been a short list from those group of names and I'm going to run through them and probably judge the likelihood of them turning up at St. James's Park ready to sign on the dotted line before the end of the transfer window. Now, let's start off with the names that we've been linked with before. First one being James McCarthy. Now, we've been seeing rumours on Twitter that we're going to sign him, or if we do sign him, it'll be for £60 million. £60 million for James McCarthy. Now, first of all, is he worth it? Not in my humble opinion. No, not £60 million anyway. And then the second one is, will we so, will we even fork out £16 million? Not to say that we haven't got it in the bank, but would we be willing to hand over £16 million to James McCarthy? And in my humble opinion, again, no. For someone with the ability of James McCarthy, I would expect around £10 million tops. Not £16 million. That £6 million could be used for other players, other areas, or probably even used for wages and all the rest of it now as well. Because don't forget that needs to be taken into account as well. So £60 million for James McCarthy, not on my life. But again, who knows, but highly unlikely. Now the next one, which is the one that's probably the, the primary target, Andros Townsend. Now again, he's thinking it's coming up over and over again. It's getting a bit boring as it goes. You know, either you're going to sign or not. You know, from what I'm reading, Crystal Palace want a loan fee on top of the fee that they want to, or basically want to redeem their money back. So £2 million on top of £13 million. So £15 million in total for a player that we only sold less than 12 months ago for £13 million. So does that make sense in our opinion? No, probably not in your opinion either. So why would we do it? Again, it's more than likely going to happen if they get something out of it. And obviously, Chancel and Bemba's name has been mooted around of some possible kind of make weight in the deal. Again, would I like to see Chancel and Bemba going out? He hasn't got that many starts, but at the same time, I still would like to see him as part of the squad. If push comes to shove and we had to do it to save us a couple of million pounds, okay then. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to lose him permanently, especially to the likes of Crystal Palace, who we might be facing off against you know, this time next season. So, Andrews Townsend, probably at the top of the list, but still unlikely to happen at this moment in time as well. The other name, the third name that I didn't mention in the previous video before is Modu Barrow. Now, I was going to make jokes about his brother's probably better, Will Barrow. I know, dead joke. But, at the same time, I haven't heard anything else since then. You know, apparently he's a bit of a tricky winger, pacey, but... At the same time, we haven't heard nothing more since, what, last week when he was, you know, linked to the club. Apart from that, nothing really else is going on right now. As obviously, we're getting to the final 24 hours or less than 24 hours by the time this video comes out. I'm sure there'll be more updates probably around Andros Townsend than anyone else. But there's nothing coming in at the moment. Now, in terms of going out, for some reason, Tim Krull's name has cropped up again, and this time he's been linked with Watford. Now, Watford have had injuries to Pantelamon. Not too sure what's happening with Gomez at the moment. I'm not that much of a Watford fan, but they've been linked with Tim Krull on low. Maybe he's been talking to Daryl Yamma. Obviously, we sold him off to Watford in the close season. Um, but he's not been getting that much of a kick at Ajax as well, so it would make sense for him. Obviously, he still wants to be in England. He's got roots here as well. Me, personally, I would love to see him back at St. James's Park. But, obviously, goalkeeping in at Newcastle United is our strongest area. So, I don't think he's going to get a chance this time, this season. So, for me, it makes more sense for him to go to Watford if he's not getting a chance at Ajax. Get himself in a team. Get himself ready for first-team fitness. And, again, be able to put himself about and maybe... Rafa can have a closer eye on him in England if he's playing for Watford FC. Teote looks like he's going to stay here again. You know, this guy's been linked with every club under the sun, from Russia to UAE to China to Spain, but no one's managed to get his signature or agree personal terms with him. So, 
that might be the the James McCarthy sign, if you like, that we're not going to get because let's face it, he's not really put himself about. I don't think he's been injured all this time. It's just not been the right frame of mind. But he might have to see out his contract at Newcastle United. And if we're paying him, we might as well play him. That's my opinion on that one as well. So there we have it. Just a small little roundup before the end of the window. Hopefully I've got some more good news or better news to give you by this time tomorrow. If not, then we're going to have to go with the squad that we've got. Hopefully the injury crisis gets a little bit better. Welcome back Dwight Gale because we need him. And then hopefully gain the top spot and get promotion back to the Premier League. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys all soon. Keep it tuned. Peace.